one on either side of the vessel. Well, we go to Loch Ness, we sample water, we filter it, we extract the organic material that's in it, and then we extract the DNA and then compare those DNA sequences to things that are in all the databases around the world. If an animal lives in the water, its DNA is in the water. So instead of trying to catch it in a net uh, or send down a submersible, you can collect the water. I don't have any information on whether or not the Loch Ness Monster exists. If something's living in Loch Ness, an animal, uh, then its DNA cells from the animal are in the water and we can find it that way. I'll get that little piece of dandruff off.